For this specific video, we're gonna be cleaning a three liter Osprey hydration pack. Now, there are different ways to clean your hydration pack and you can get creative there, but it all comes down to making sure that you are using a cleaning agent. You wanna make sure that the pack is 100% dry before you store it. And you also wanna make sure that you are cleaning the tube very well. Now, as far as the cleaning agent go, it really depends on how unclean your pack is. If it's a pack that you clean regularly, then you're probably good to go with some dish soap. If you're not comfortable with the dish soap because sometimes it does leave a little bit of taste afterwards you can go with some lemon and baking soda if your pack is not clean at all like this one here and you can already see that it's a little bit yellow you can go with some bleach as long as you make sure that you're cleaning it with water afterwards now for the cleaning I picked this kit here just to make the cleaning process a little bit easier and I picked it from a company called Tagvo this is not sponsored or anything but I will put their information in the description box for those of you who are interested and this kit comes with four pieces the first one is a tall brush that you can use to clean the inside of the pack it also comes with a pipe cleaner a snake with a little brush at the end to clean the tube and finally it comes with a hanger that you can place inside the pack to let it dry all right so let's get started with the cleaning process all right so here is our three liter osprey hydration pack the first thing that i like to do is detach the tube and leave it aside before we start the cleaning process and from there the first step i start with is filling the pack with some warm water close the pack and let it sit for a little bit and then drain the water. This first step is not necessary, but I just like doing so to make sure that I'm getting rid of any dirt or any residue before I start using soap. The next step is filling the pack with some more water again, and this time I add some dish soap, I let it sit in a little bit, and then I drain some of the water and leave some of it in the pack so that I can use it to brush the inside of the pack. And at this point, I'm going to use the brush that I showed you earlier. And when I'm scrubbing, I'm pretty much focusing on the left side, the right side of the pack, as well as the bottom. Just give it a good scrub. You can use your hand and go all the way inside, and that should be good enough to make it clean. The next thing that I like to do is using the pipe cleaner to clean the closure brackets as well as the quick release hole. These are two areas that a lot of people forget about, so just give it a good brush and you're good to go. Now for the tube that's attached to the bag, what I like to do is to run some clean water through the bag and reverse the pack upside down just to make sure that the tube is also getting cleaned. And from there, you want to make sure that you are running clean water through the bag multiple times to ensure that there is no soap left. Now, as far as the tube goes, the only piece that I'm going to detach is this red plastic piece here that we use to drink from. And I'm going to leave pretty much everything in place. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the snake brush and run it through the tube all the way in pull it back and do that probably a couple of times, two to three times, just to make sure everything is clean. And you can probably add a little bit of soap to the brush just to make sure that you're scrubbing the inside very well. And that should be enough. And from there, you're just gonna run some water through it and make sure that you're using the pipe brush to clean the ends of the tube very well. And you do the same with the little red piece that you detached earlier. Just give it a good scrub and there you go. All right, and now that we have pretty much everything clean and good to go, what I like to do is use some paper towel to dry the inside of the pack and the outside. And from there, I'm going to use the hanger piece to place inside of the pack. And then I will hang it in the backyard and let it dry for some time. And like I said earlier, you can get creative with it and do whatever works for you. This is just some basic guidelines for you to follow. And if you have any questions, let me know in a comment. And just one more thing that I wanted to add here, although this video is specific to the Osprey Hydration Pack, you can pretty much follow the same concept with any other pack that you might have. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for weekly vlogs about hiking and backpacking. Your trekking pals, Habiba and Alex, and we'll see you soon on another adventure.